Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am bringing you five things that you can do for minimal investment to be a little bit more planet conscious and live a little bit more eco. So we won't waste any time. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Check out my other videos if they're of any interest. And we are gonna get straight in to the five things you can do to be more eco-conscious. So the first thing is really, really obvious and will actually save you money instead of being invested in, and that is to think about the resources that you're using around your home. This is things like lights, ovens, uh, water, washing machines, tumble dryers, anything at all that uses any kind of energy or water. Just think about whether or not you could maybe leave your washing an extra day so that you've got a full load of laundry instead of half a load. Think about whether or not you need all those fairy lights to be on. But I would definitely say that if you think about what you're using around your home and how much energy it's consuming and how much water it's consuming, it can really help you to kind of minimize the impact that you're having just being at home. My next tip, again, doesn't really require an investment. When you go to replace products that you've run out of, try and choose things that are a little bit more eco-conscious, maybe cruelty-free as well. They often go hand in hand these days with homeware products in particular. You can get cruelty-free stuff that's also completely recyclable. Choose packaging that is recyclable at the very least. It's better than nothing. If you can buy loose, then do. I have a few of these awesome like loose mesh produce bags. I love them. They're great for buying loose fruit and veg at the supermarket and things like that. But if you can't get loose products for whatever reason, then I would definitely say try and go for recyclable packaging that you can put straight in the recycling bin and you know it's doing a little bit more good than the alternative of just throwing single-use plastic packaging away. Tip number three is to choose a menu and a meal plan over just buying off the cuff and creating loads of food waste. When you're doing a menu and a meal plan, it's a really good idea to look at what you've already got. So if you've got something including chicken on a Monday night, then try and use chicken again, maybe on the Wednesday or the Thursday, so that you're using up all the chicken that you've got in the fridge and you're not wasting all of that food. So try and double up on the ingredients, make sure there's plenty of overlap. It might make for a boring week of meals for some people, but if you're clever about it, you can eat really adventurously, still using a lot of the same ingredients. So I am a vegetarian, so a lot of what we eat in our house is vegetarian. So we buy a huge amount of fresh vegetables every single week, and it's really important to make sure that you can get through them all with minimal waste without them spoiling. This obviously also rings true for meat, but I can't really speak to that because I don't buy a huge amount of meat. It's one of the big things that everyone can make a small change that will have a really big impact in the long run. This one is specifically for anyone who has a period, um, so sorry if that's not you, this doesn't apply to you, but I would definitely say that since switching to reusable sanitary products for my periods, I have noticed a massive, massive drop in the amount of waste that's produced, like bathroom waste. I'm not having to empty the bin anywhere near as often now that I'm using reusable sanitary products. This is definitely one of those things that's very much about personal preference. I personally go for the pads. I do have um, PCOS. I have incredibly erratic, very heavy periods and a moon cup or like those little tampon liner things, like none of that's good for me. I have to be, I'm a pad girl through and through and there's just no way around that. So I bought two packs of these um, reusable bamboo washable pads on Amazon ages and ages ago now. They wash incredibly well. They are super comfortable to wear. Even in hot weather, I was a bit worried because they are like fleece lined, but they are actually really comfortable to wear. And I have found that the amount of rubbish I'm producing from not using single use sanitary products is massive. It makes a huge, huge difference. And if everyone did that, even just for part of their period, then it would make a huge saving in the amount of generated waste and single-use plastic especially that is used in sanitary products. 
So that is a really, really big one for anyone who has a period. The fifth and final one I've kind of already touched on, and that is to choose cruelty-free or natural products. Now, the reason I mention cruelty-free is because obviously animal testing labs, they will have a big carbon footprint. They're also incredibly cruel places, obviously. And testing on animals is one of those things that really drives a lot of really bad stuff that's happening to the planet. It's a massive waste of life and it's really, really cruel, obviously. These poor animals are put through so much and it's not worth it in my opinion. So I would definitely say that the next time you run out of something that you use all the time and you're looking to replace it, try and buy something that's cruelty free these products will very often come with recyclable or more eco-friendly packaging anyway because it's an ethos that works all together and if you can get something that's a lot more natural then you're probably gonna pay a minimal amount more but it's gonna be so much better for you for the planet for the people who are producing the ingredients and you're saving animals from having products tested on them. So the next time you're looking to replace something, choose to buy from a cruelty-free place and you're probably also getting a better quality, more natural, eco-friendly product on top of that. So it kind of does everything. All right guys, so those are my five ways to be more eco-friendly and planet conscious with minimal investment. The big takeaway from things like this is that if you're gonna start making these changes in your own life, don't be needlessly wasteful. Just wait until these products and these items have run out and you're looking to replace them and then you spend that money anyway. So it's a minimal investment. A lot of these products are a little bit more expensive, but things like reusable sanitary products, yeah, it'll cost you maybe a tenner for a five pack of reusable pads. You might need two packs. I certainly did. But at the end of the day, you're not spending four or five quid every single month for a new pack of pads or a new box of tampons that will only last you that one period. It's so much more eco-friendly. You can chuck them in with your normal wash and you know, it just makes everything that little bit better because you're not generating so much waste. Being a little bit more eco-friendly and a bit more planet conscious boils down to waiting until you need something and then replacing it with a slightly better, more eco option. And that includes things like natural products and cruelty free because it all works together to create a better planet for everyone. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please go and hit like and consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that ring bell button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.